the ride was uh, pretty simple. Ride as much as possible, as fast as possible, and stay within the main corridor of the uh, Nespers War Trail. In early June 2010, I um, headed out to Kalispell in Montana to uh, pick up my uh, core rider Bjorn. We spent a couple of days in uh, my hometown, Cranbrook in British Columbia, fine-tuning uh, everything, equipment and horses. And We spent the time basically going through the whole ride, trying to figure out what problems that may occur through the trip. It could be anything. And uh, by God, I was in for quite a surprise, actually. Yeah. Anyway, after a few days, we uh, packed up, loaded up the horses and equipment, and headed south for the White Nest Pairs Reservation in Idaho. Water level in Snake River was uh, way too high for us to cross, so we had to turn back the way we came and uh, ride back down to the other side to cover that part of the trail, which actually gave us uh, quite a few miles extra to ride. This in addition to the actual length of the trail. By now we had uh, covered approximately 70% of the total length of the trail west of the Bitterroot Mountains. From here it was uh, uh, about seven to nine days ride across the Bitterroot Mountains to uh, Lolo in uh, Montana.
a short time we realized that we had done a big mistake not bringing a chainsaw. Part of the trail was basically covered with tree falls after storms and overgrown with dense bush. And uh, however, we blazed our way through and um, we made it all a good ride in good weather and we had plenty of water and food and everything turned out good across. Upon arriving on uh, Packers Meadows, we met our driver with uh, more food and more drink and we spent a day uh, camping there before we headed down the uh, valley to Lolo and Fort Fitzel. From here we reset and um, prepared for uh, riding the Continental Divide and the Gibbons Pass. After crossing the Gibbons Pass, we uh, camped at Elk Creek. From there, we made a day ride down to uh, the Big Hole Battlefield and uh, visited that area before we continued uh, to Wisdom, where we uh, meet up with the Appaloosa Horse Club and uh, rode uh, with them for a week. Among other places, we crossed, recrossed the uh, Continental Divide on uh, through the Lemai Pass. After a week with the uh, Appaloosa Horse Club, we um, continued on to uh, Camas Meadows, where we paid a visit to uh, the Camas Meadows uh, battlefield before we uh, continued on to uh, West Yellowstone. Arriving in Yellowstone, we camped at the original uh, Nest Pairs campsite, then up the Firehole River up to Jaser Basin. From Jaser Basin, we uh, rode up the Nespers Creek across the Mary Mountain, out the Hayden Valley to the Yellowstone River and the uh, Indian Pond.
crossing of the Yellowstone River was not done at this time. However, we rode across when we returned from uh, the Big Hole Battlefield ceremony a few weeks later. From the Indian Pond, we rode uh, straight into Pelican Valley, where we hit the Mist Creek and uh, followed it to uh, the confluence of uh, Lamar and followed it down to the confluence of Miller Creek and uh, turned up Miller Creek, followed it all the way straight up to uh, the Hoodoo Basin. When we started off down the Hoodoo Creek from uh, Hoodoo Basin, we really got into a mess with uh, with uh, downfalls and burns, and uh, we could hardly get through there. And we uh, made very very slow speed. It was uh, horrible for the horses, and uh, everybody suffered for a couple of three days uh, through that section. It was burning hot riding down the Hoodoo Creek. However, it was cool, nice water in the creek and uh, we were able to shower off every now and then. And uh, it was uh, really a hell of a nice ride down, the, down those creeks, no matter what, how much we struggled, really. A little fun thing there was we actually crossed the creek uh, almost 60 times on their way down the creek. It was uh, a constant ride through water, basically, from one side to the other all the time.
from the Dead Indian Campground. It was uh, straight out to uh, the Clark Fork Canyon, down to uh, the Yellowstone River in the Clark Fork, um, and uh, out along the river towards uh, Cody, where we had our uh, trucks parked. Um, that was the Nesper Trail through uh, the Yellowstone and Absaroka. After the Yellowstone was finished at uh, Clark's Fork, we um, returned to the Big Hole Valley to uh, attend the uh, battlefield uh, ceremony that is held every year. And that was quite an experience. And um, on the return, we uh, drove past uh, the Yellowstone River in the Yellowstone and that's when we uh, actually crossed the Yellowstone River just to have that done too. After the memorial at the Big Hole Battlefield we went back to uh, Wyoming and continued north towards the Bear Pan Mountains. The route was basically uh, from the Clark Fork of the Yellowstone River to uh, Laurel in Montana, straight north across the prairie to uh, Canyon Creek and the Rye Gate and uh, to the south foothills of the Big Snowy Mountains. After crossing the big snowy mountains, the ride continues straight north for several days past Roy to uh, Woodhawk on the Missouri Breaks. into uh, big problems with heavy rain. Missouri Breaks are known for its gumbo clay and riding is basically impossible when it's raining. In addition to that, John decided to abandon the ride. It was kind of a shame, however, he did it for personal reasons and uh, he made his own choice. After a couple of days we were able to ride down the Missouri Breaks to the Missouri River. However, we could not cross because it was too much water in the river. We returned up the Woodhawk, reset to the north side, and finished off the rest of the ride up to uh, the Bear Pound Mountain, except for the actual Cow Creek itself, which we never did. 